And welcome, everybody, to the Friday edition of the Chris Alcedo Show. Glad you made it. we got a team of political and legal experts standing by, ready to sound off on the new Hunter Biden special counsel, uh -huh. including former member of the House Intelligence Committee and CEO of Trump Media and Technology Group, Devin Nunes. But first, let's begin with Oversight and Accountability Committee member, South Carolina Congressman Russell Fry. Mr. Fry, glad to have you, sir. Your reaction to Attorney General Merrick Garland appointing a special counsel protector for, for Hunter Biden? Well, I, I think I'm on the surface. We've been saying this for a while, but the, the the big troubling thing to me, Chris, is that where was this months ago? I mean, we have at this point exhausted felonies for 2014, 2015, because Weiss told the IRS whistleblowers that he didn't have authority to, to act. And so Merrick Garland has said in testimony that he had Weiss, Mr. Weiss had full authority to do whatever he wanted to, but we have allowed these things to be exhausted. And only now, I think the American people recognize this for what it is, and it's a sham. It is deeply troubling that Mr. Mr. Weiss is either covering up for the Bidens himself, he's part of the, the cover-up uh, with Merrick Garland, uh, he's incompetent. I mean, but any number of those are troubling because we should have been doing this a long time ago. And look, a plea deal. Would plea deals never get blown up? And we saw that happen just a few weeks ago. Mr. Weiss has no business touching this case anymore until he answers to Congress. Well, it took took about what five years to get to get all the 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 uh, the quote unquote evidence on Hunter Biden. Then he got the sweetheart plea deal. So you know, just set your watch, Congressman. It's going to take you know another five years. You know, by the time 28, uh, 29 rolls around, then we can finally get to the bottom of this. And of course, all the statute of limitations will be gone. And of course, so will the Bidens. Uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Weiss uh, has shown unwavering loyalty to Merrick Garland. He's going to be the leader of the, the, the Biden protection racket here. Attorney General Merrick Garland, the failed Supreme Court nominee, says Weiss requested to be elevated to special counsel. Take a listen. On Tuesday of this week, Mr. Weiss advised me that in his judgment, his investigation had reached a stage at which he could, should continue his work as a special counsel, and he asked to be so appointed. Okay, so what is your read on this? The timing of all this, doesn't this signal that the Republican Party, uh, sorry, the conservatives in the Republican Party in the House, the investigators over there, are getting very close to the truth, thus magically special counsel? Well, I, I think so. I think in, in many ways, you know, the walls are closing in on this administration and this president and some of the transactions that they've partaken in for years. You know, but the troubling thing, again, goes back to Mr. Weiss, because you've had crimes, felonies that the statute of limitations has exhausted. Uh, uh, the Secret Service was tipped off when the investigators wanted to go and look at tax documents in a storage facility. You've had a lot of these things that have happened with the U.S. Attorney's Office in Delaware and if you look at if you look at the IRS whistleblower's testimony, if you read it, they've been consistent this entire time. The only thing that has changed is the story by Mr. Weiss, who told the whistleblowers that he did not have authority to charge. Uh, and then he has since tried to walk that back. Lo and behold, since all this stuff has come to light. So uh, for, for the Bidens, I think, you know, obviously this is becoming much more focused with the House of Representatives and the work that the Oversight Committee is doing with the work that Judiciary is doing constantly. But there are still very deep uh, seated troubling aspects of this that I have uh, that I've expressed uh, to other members since the beginning, because not everything doesn't seem to be right with this guy Weiss. Yeah, well, speaking of the work you were referencing, Congressman James Comer reacting to the special counsel appointment, a statement he said, quote, this move by A.G. Garland is part of the Justice Department's efforts to attempt a Biden family cover-up in light of the GOP's mounting evidence of President Biden's role in his family's schemes, selling the brand for millions of dollars to foreign nationals. Congressman, will the GOP fund the, GOs, the DOJ's attempt to cordon off Hunter Biden from House investigations? Well, I hope not. And I think with the appropriations process coming up just this fall, 
these agencies, in particular the DOJ here, they have a lot to answer for on why they're not doing things or why they're doing things a certain way. The American people expect transparency here. They see this for what it is. And I, when I hear from certainly conservatives, but I want to hear from moderates, independents, and even Democrats going, this doesn't seem right. What is going on in our government? When we talk about the weaponization of government, this is exactly what we're talking about. Because on one hand, depending on your political persuasion, you're prosecuted for, for any number of things by any number of attorneys or U.S. attorneys throughout the country. But with the Biden family, there's always this cone of protection around them that is deeply troubling. And we're they have some answers to deliver for the American people. Uh, and if not, we'll shape them up in the budget process. Right. And I think a, a lot of that that stuff they're they're being sheltered encompasses a lot of people in many parts of the government, maybe even bipartisan, I might suggest, Congressman. Uh, investigative reporter Paul Sperry, he's reporting that by suddenly acquiring special counsel status, embattled prosecutor David Weiss can now avoid testifying himself next month before the House Judiciary Committee and face grilling over reports he helped obstruct a broader investigation into Hunter Biden, which you've been alluding to, Congressman. Is that true? Is Mr. Weiss now immune from subpoenas from Congress? Well, I think, I, I hope not. And I think uh, we ex fully expect him to testify. We, uh, judiciary has, uh, the Judiciary Committee has already said that with the 11 uh, interviews that we have upcoming, uh, including uh, in-person testimony from Mr. Weiss, we expect him to be there. Because quite frankly, the changing story by Mr. Weiss is what, what I'm concerned about and what several members are concerned about. The only thing that hasn't changed in this is the IRS whistleblower testimony. And so who are you going to believe, uh, in the words of our chairman, Jim Jordan, uh, in this matter, the guys who have never changed their story or the, the U.S. attorney that seems to be changing his, his stripes depending on the day? And so I, I fully expect him to testify. Uh, and if not, we're going to certainly have some problems uh, with with his unwillingness to come before Congress. Seems to me, Congressman, it's an all hands on deck approach from our government to make sure our people don't find out what the Bidens have been up to. And by extension, the Democrat Party. And as I said, maybe even some Republicans implicated in this. Congressman Russell Fry, thank you very much. Appreciate the time.